Welcome back everyone. Here's another MBR segment in the Digital Forensic Series. Um, this is the fourth segment just for familiarity and clarification on how to analyze MBRs. Now I highly do recommend you watch my um, previous MBR segments, especially the first two, be which I'll leave a link to in the description. This is because I explain a lot of things which could be of variation in your setup of your hex editor and what we could potentially be looking for or asking ourselves when performing MBR analysis. Now MBR analysis is master boot record analysis and some of the reasons why we may do this is so that we can identify how many partitions there are in a hard drive which is provided in a forensic instance and we can see if you know we can ask questions such as is there any anomalies with partitions or if, um, are all the partitions present accounted for or is there any um, abnormalities with these uh, partitions as well like is there any modifications and things like that and that's what we want to know because I mean, yeah, information could be hidden in any partitions anywhere on the disk you know so our aim is to find out what the sizes of these partitions are where the starting sector is so that we can go and carve everything out or see the tree of these uh, partitions and see what's consisting inside those so I've got a new partition here on the right and I've opened up all my tabs that I've included information for. So we'll get right to it. I'm going to use a snipping tool. I'm going to carve out. So I'm going to crop this. And just remember, again, this particular partition is set in 16 by um, rows. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And that's exactly what we want because our template that we use is in 16 byte rows. So this template won't apply if your byte row layout of your hex editor is in a different different layout. So make sure it's in 16 byte. You can see that's there, 16 byte hexadecimal. And two hex digits will equal one byte. So that's how we that's how we know. So someone's highlighted this. I can't unhighlight the 55AA. Hopefully it doesn't get confusing. So we look at the magic magic number, which is 55AA, which identifies to us that that's the end of the MBR. So just above that will be partition um, four. And remember, MBR can only have four partitions. And above that particular partition is partition three. So that particular partition there is partition three. And then above that one is partition two. Above that one is partition one. And remember how MBRs only have four partitions. So anything above that is not of relevance to us. So I'm going to start highlighting these particular columns. Yeah. So we need that information. That's the boot indicator for each of the partition to show that if it's bootable or non bootable. This is the system ID of each partition. This shows us what type of partition it is. And this is the starting address of the, to find the starting cluster of the data area of this partition. That's where this partition starts from. And all the, um, all the information or the data would be found from that particular cluster. And this is the size of the partition. That's partition one size, partition two size, partition three size. So I'll start filling out my table here. And if I've covered some of the numbers here, you can always just go back to this table and validate those from there. So partition one, and when you're writing hex digits, remember to put 0x in front of it, just so you can identify a hexadecimal as opposed to a decimal number. So 0x80 is the boot indicator for partition one. Partition two is 0x00. Partition three is 0, 0 again. So system ID for partition one is 0x07. Then 0x07 again. And then 0f for the last partition. So the starting LB address is this one. We're applying the template directly down. So the boot indicator starting are these two, 80 and 20. And then it continues all the way up to here. And that's where the second partition starts. And then up to there it stops. Then the third partition. And it stops. And the fourth partition is all zeros, and there's nothing in the fields of the boot indicator or the system ID. So boot indicator doesn't matter. I think it's a system ID because if there's no positive number, anything from zero one up in the system ID, it's not an identified partition. So we just treat it as that it's not a partition. 
because if there was identification there it would be in the common partition values or we'd find it somewhere on the internet so that's how we'd come to understand it so the starting lba is that value there and remember little indian is not read from left to right there's a particular way of reading these numbers because that's how our systems read it so if you have an array of bytes like we do we have a four byte array you read it from right to left of the entire array but within each byte you read from left to right so you read it from right to left but within each byte you read from left to right i'll start that again just over here just to show you so 0x 0 0 0 0 0 8 0 0 i hope you saw that i'll fill out the rest of the entries as well so the little indian for the size again so 0x 0 0 0 0 three two zero 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 and i'll fill out the rest of them really quickly so zero 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 three twenty eight zero 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 x zero c thirty one c eight zero 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 c thirty one c eight zero 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 x is a zero c 34 if if 2 cc just going to check if that's the right one so 0 c 34 if 2 cc yep then 1 2 3 4 that's the correct one as well 0 x 2 e 0 3 1 a b 4 2 e 0 3 1 a b 4 now we're going to presume that this particular mbr is formatted with 512 byte sectors just for um the calculation purposes remember the bytes per sector could be 2046 for uh sorry 2048 4092 depending on what you formatted the initial drive with and that information can be found by using a particular tool which will be covered in a different video but in our instance right now let's just say that this particular hard drive is formatted with 5 to byte sectors just to get a rough idea so partition one i'm going to write this in extended format now so we know that 0x0 sorry 0x80 over here is non-bootable then the type is 07 we have that just here 07 is ntfs hpfs x fat and the decimal value oh i didn't do this one step sorry you can remove all the addition the starting zeros of each hex number after the 0x because that doesn't change the value of that particular digit it's just like normal maths if you have zeros before the number that particular number doesn't change you can remove those it's only the zeros that are after the number that give it a tens hundreds thousandths value so 0x800 and hex is 2048 so 2048 so the 2048 cluster you'll find this the data area for that particular partition so the size is 32,000 multiply that by 512 and we get that value there and if we put this value in our Google converter to convert it to gigabytes we'll see roughly how much it is so it's 0.10 of a gigabyte so sorry 0 0.10 of 10 gigabytes um, so it's roughly 0 0.10 gigabytes yep. and let's move on to the second partition now so we know that 0 times 0 0 boot indicators are non-bootable non-bootable 0 0 are non-bootable sorry I got a mistake here 0 80 is bootable I read that incorrectly, yeah. So 0x80 is bootable, 0, 0 is non-bootable. Non-bootable. And we know again that 0, 07 type indicator is the same thing as NTFS, HPFS, XFAT. And this particular one is 32800.
the value and this was that multiplied by 512 bytes per sector and we get this particular value here so now if we put this in Google let's see the, the calculator let's see what we get so that's roughly 104.75 gigabytes 104.75 gigabytes so let's go to partition 3 zero, 00 is non bootable 0x0f system ID type is luckily over here this is the MX extended partition LBA and the value of the starting LBA address hex is that and then the size of this particular particular one it's in decimal multiplied by 512 is that value put in Google once we convert it, it's coming up to 395.24 gigabytes and this is an extended partition so roughly about 395.24 gigabytes so that was another MBR analysis done and dusted so you can see that this is a very unique partition it's I mean a unique disk it's got quite large um, partitions it's got a obviously some sort of a um, this is a bootable partition so I'm presuming that this has boot data and this is the data partition there's another data partition which are very large and this is of one logical disk so remember this is one MBR but because this is a MS extended partition um, extended partition can contain more than one physical disk so multiple physical disks could be put into an extended partition to make it one large partition always remember that so this could be more than one disk as far as what I understand <laughs> I may be wrong but yeah hopefully this helped someone and this is how you analyze um, MBRs using all my um, tabs that I've included and I'll leave those in the description and we can use this particular analysis in later segments where we would carve out files and that would be uh, not too far away now so hopefully I get onto that and yeah hope it helped someone thank you for watching um, like and subscribe to this video if it helped and if you have any questions comment and if you found something interesting and you want to know more about it comment and I'll see if I can uh, put, put segments up of that particular um, topic thank you